about 10 years ago when I had no more children at home, kids were through college and things calmed down a little bit financially and so forth, I said to my wife, you know, I've always wanted to own a classic car and I'd like to own one that was very similar to the one that I learned how to drive on. And I found this one, which is a 1950 Dodge Coronet. The Coronet was the uh, top of the uh, Dodge line and the most expensive uh, vehicle in the Dodge line. Now in 1950, you could not get any car with power steering. Most cars in 1950 did not have uh, an automatic transmission. Because this car has something that is very interesting in the transmission area, a fluid drive. You still have to shift the car, just like you would a manual shift car, but with the fluid uh, coupling in place, you have the ability to take, put, the, put the car in gear, take your foot off the clutch and the car won't stall because the, the liquid coupling uh, uh, slips like a torque converter would in an automatic transmission. It starts right up normally. So we're going to start off in first gear. And then we're going to shift into second. And then we're going to shift into high. Okay, just like a manual shift car, which is what this is. The difference between this and a typical modern car is you actually have to drive this car. The typical modern car, you don't drive it. You get in and you, and you, and you steer it. Okay, but you actually have to have exercise control over the mechanism of this car to drive. You've gone into the back of the car and one thing that you're going to notice immediately is the amount of room and the leg room back there. You can stretch your legs out. There's, and, and in fact, there's a footrest bar there. You can probably see it. You know, it's very, very comfortable in the back seat of this car. It's bigger than my apartment. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. And I've got the seat about halfway back. This car listed uh, $1,730, $1,730 in, in 1950 dollars. Today's equivalent would be probably about, uh, about $16,000. I paid $2,500 for the car, and I have put probably about six or $7,000 into it over the last 10 years. Uh, several people put their uh, vintage uh, cars in the parade. This year, I think, will be the third time I've been in the parade. We're looking forward to it. It's, it's a good time, and the parade is a wonderful event uh, for the town. Everybody seems to enjoy it. 